Hello, it's Matt Science Channel, and today we will show you a meeting of greyfish with a bearded gamma, a scorpion, and even ants. Interesting? Let's go then! The video is an educational one and does not call for violence. The video demonstrates the behavior of scorpions, bearded gamma, and crayfish. We ask you not to repeat what you see. Perhaps sooner it already came to your mind that ordinary crayfish and scorpions are somewhat similar. Between them there is a certain external similarity. In particular, it is manifested in the presence of a chitin skeleton and claws. A reasonable question arises. Will they attack each other if they happen to meet by chance? You will see it soon. For now, you can pause the video and write your own versions in the comments. Before turning to the experimental part, we would like to recall one common misconception. We are talking about the method of movement of crayfish. It is believed that they are able to move only backwards. But it is not completely true. Crayfish move like other organisms. They can go forward without any difficulties. The myth of going only backwards arose due to the peculiarities of their way to swimming. Yes, crayfish swim backwards due to the structure of their caudal fin. However, there is nothing like this happening in the terrarium. Now let's return to the ants. How will how how will they behave when they find such huge creatures in the ant farm? At first, they reacted to the uninvited guest without any interest. Most likely, the reason is that the crayfish did not manifest itself when it began to move inside the farm. Since something extraordinary was happening, farm's inhabitants also revived. However, the ants were in no hurry to attack attack such a large creature. Later one of them decided to study the crayfish in close proximity. But that was all. We can say that the situation was resolved in a friendly way. By the way, boiled crayfish is also a famous delicacy. Perhaps some of you also like this free. If yes, write about it in the comments. Let's move on to the key scene of today's release. The acquaintance of crayfish and scorpion. At first, it seems that the latter did not even know that it sat directly on the living being. For a long time the situation did not change at all. The scorpion still sat astride a crayfish. Did it take crayfish for an inanimate object in a terrarium? For example, for a stone? We don't know. A little later the scorpion finally showed aggression, trying to sting the crayfish. It is logical that his intentions were not destined to come true. The crayfish is protected by a reliable chitinous shell. After some time the we will seize each other with their claws. How long this confrontation would go on is unknown. Scorpion and crayfish simply looked at each other, holding their opening with claws. We decided to stop the experiment by placing the crayfish back in the aquarium, as far as long stay on the land could affect them negatively. That's all for today. If you want to see a meeting of a huge lobster with a scorpion and crayfish in one of the following releases, right? I want in the comments. If you are interested, like and share the video with friends. One more ISIS is about wildlife life? Sign to the channel and press the bell, so as not to miss the new video. It was Matt Science. Thanks for watching and see you soon. And all together, from Russia with love. And a new word for translate. In English, sorry dude. In Russian, sorry, чувак.